Well, sometimes I would like to be free like those birds over there flying over my toilets and fountains and people and not worry about a thing in the world. But unfortunately, I'm no bird and I'm also not flying over toilets. So we, we, we are flying from above though, looking down on our city and we go ahead with more uh, city development right here in the town center. I would like to continue with a bit of beautification, uh, something that we really haven't touched yet so far. And of course, there is ample room for this, um, especially here around the, those walls then that we can um, assign a few more trees here and there. Also along these walls here, we have plenty of space um, that we can fill in with some trees here and there. And also here just along those um yeah those investors uh those investor buildings that we have um to also um add some additional decoration in between then there's also these uh, tiny tiny places here that we can also add i'm actually going with the temperate growth primarily right now because it's a nice mixed bag between grass uh, flowers and trees and it basically just adds a nice um yeah a nice decoration there we are going to replace decorations though the more we unlock especially especially also my enclosed greeneries and stuff like that um way more important though that we have right now um the the goal here is fulfilling the needs of the investor because yeah decoration is one thing fulfilling uh, like spectacles stuff like spectacles is a bit more important especially also to raise my happiness here now two things are primary uh, a problem right now the first one is the spectacles and the other one is the penny far things i would like to check it out how much um, of a deficit we have there right now for the spectacles it's uh, two tons that we actually produce in surplus so it shouldn't be the case that this is running out so what i can only think about is that we probably lack the supplies for the spectacles and that is the brass and there you go we actually have a deficit here for the brass production and also the glass that's probably not a problem yeah it's okay it's a surplus of two that also leads me to the sand again where we have a huge de uh, deficit right so it's important to really check all these logistical chains in order to get a production up to track again um also of course we have electrified the light bulb production look at that it's at nine tons in surplus this is way too much right so we can also look at other factories that consume stuff that we need like the glass for example so i'm actually going in here and i'm actually going to activate at least three of those light bulb factories again and we can activate them later once we need them that's much better because i'm not going to use light bulbs for export i'm not going to use it for anything else other than fulfilling the needs of my city and in this case that's really fine um the other thing is then the filament production probably also a huge surplus yes it's at eight and we're producing two for each one of them so i'm going to also deactivate me three here this is once again then also making things a bit easier oh look at that there's also a new ship coming in just over here another ironclad and this time around we got a few more shippies in the area and she is quite surprised what is going on here why she can't do her mayhem like she wants to by the way we should also check up while we're here in the fighting scene where the white flag is it's looking at six minutes and then we'll take back this island here once more now for the brass we have the problem that yeah we are running out of copper and zinc now these things are problematic because both of them are very limited of how much you have right so we can go ahead and have actually another look at the docklands there again i have plenty of room available for me and we might actually be thinking about importing the brass with the docklands it's not so bad i think the only thing that we need is yeah we need to import 1400 cement first in order to unlock the brass and how should we do this do we have any bigger surplus of anything like yeah sausage for example 1500 we would need right and we use 800 tons of sausage this is just a one-time trade just so that we can unlock the brass along the way and that we can use it then to import stuff that's actually my goal here and we might be opening up a new export good then down the road something hmm gramophone is looking really good but the volume will never be really high we'll just see what we can actually do here now another thing is that i still haven't touched in kareth we want to get a massive schnapps production on the way first of all it's for crown folds it's also going to be for the new world right because i don't want to import schnapps with my docklands that's kind of like a waste so what we do here is first of all we got a nice bigger road here in the middle again and also here along the coastal side and then we're just going to add buildings and you know what i'm super lazy about this and we're 
probably probably just going to copy me one of my high density blocks like this one here right and just copy this down here to Kareth and I save a lot on on basically point. anything right that I would otherwise need to do here the only thing that will cost me though is a bit the bricks Oh, you know what? Actually, let's use Kareth for another production. Then what I'm doing here is I'm going to um, fiddle around here with the settings. So the thing is, we do need 800 tons of schnapps for Crown Falls. And we do need another, let's say, 300 tons for Manola. So I'm going with a buffer here and say 1,300 tons is something we need. That would be 600 tons of bread. Now, bread is actually something we produce in very high quantities right now. That's because I would like to use the chocolate production combined with the bread. The thing is, though, we are kind of like get stuffed on bread. So I want to need, I need something to get the bread out, the surplus bread. And with this, we have the, yeah, we have 30, 35 tons, 37 tons of bread. That's around, yeah, 600 tons, let's say, with a bit of a buffer in between that I could use for exporting. So this would actually be fine already, right? We have the volume here, we have the production, and we have then the total in in income here of the schnapps that we need, the 43 tons for my farmers, that's around 800, 900 tons, and then a bit of a surplus there for Manola. Problem solved, actually. And it was that easy. The thing is, we have the trade union here somewhere. I cannot build it right now because of my influence limits, but we'll soon be able to. And one of the major other things is right now happening here, and that is that we got uh, our Olympiad in with its goods, Bruno Iron Bright for the Bicycle Swing Machine Factory. This is something I've been looking forward to. A bunch of happiness goods, and then also Feras Al Zarami. Let's get this guy back again to Eli right away. And also over here, we would have the chance now of using this item then, right? Um, the thing is though, we're quite full on, 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 import, on incoming needs here. So I would need to use at least the fur coat dealers. We would need to at least push away somewhere else to make room for this last item that I would like to have then for my productions here. By the way, speaking about fur coat dealers, yes, we are also not looking that great on it. I think I've paused one and there it is. Let's activate this last one. They're producing, oh yeah, four per minute. So this already solved the problem again. So let's just wait it out a bit more. I'm waiting for that influence here um, so that we can really push them to the next level of my of my city. Um, what I would like to do in the meantime also is I would like to boost my copper and my zinc by 50%. This doesn't give me any discontent at all. And it will not be enough, of course, right? So we're still in the deficit here, but it will even things out a bit more, especially since we're um, not using brass for anything else right now. Also, <laughs> I think steel, we're really fine. We are. Glass, we're really fine. How's my caoutchouc looking right now? Caoutchouc is not that bad because we are having safe trade routes again, right? And we have it in Fabes, was it? No, it wasn't Fabes. It was Rosario or Alamary. There it is. A total of nine right now. So I can actually afford another penny farthing production. And for this, once again, let's just check it out here. Um, where we have them. There we have them, right? So I could actually squeeze in another one here, hopefully, somehow. Let's just try. Does this get rid of electricity here? No, it does not. Height it is. We don't really need that brick factory. I'm not boosting it with anything. The there you go. Right. There we have another one squeezed in. And don't forget, we're still boosting them further, right, with items. So this is not the end of it yet. Uh, this is going to be another 12 seconds processing time for this. So that's massive. That's really fast. Let's upgrade this warehouse. And by the way, since this is also getting into a bigger industry zone, let's upgrade all the roads here. So sorry for the confusion there about the schnapps. We're after all importing it with the Docklands, right? That's something. I want to use the space. I thought about it. Um, and you know, the most important thing that we have is space. And instead of using all of this here now for potato farms, right? Which is just worthless, honestly. We can use it then also, for example, for grape. And we're going to need a lot of grape. And this is just a perfect item for grape production. So I might as well start on that, right? This is the champagne. This is the next thing in line that we have. So let's go ahead and finally start ramping up carrot there. We actually have the building materials right here as well. Also going to get some fisheries off the board here. I'm not going with a commute pier because, let's face it, we don't have the influence for that. I'd rather just use my population that we have now. And with that, we can actually start then with the grape production. Just over here, there it is, the wine it is. And it really just needs glass. We have plenty of that. And then grapes, right, to make the wine in the wine cellar. 
And all of this is easy and it also doesn't really require a lot of space. We might think about having a fertilizer siren here for the, for the future. Just so that we have room for expansion, right? And with that... Ooh, there's actually quite a lot of space here. Uh, with that, we can then use them in this area. We might actually make this a bit more efficient. And really just squeeze them in like that. So there you go. We have the grape fields and also their respective um, yeah, silos then that we can use. I might as well also just add me into this very strange corner here a fire station. No, wait a second. Then we cannot have the silo there anymore. So let's just keep this one available for now. I might actually remodel this one. How much champagne do we need at this point in Crown Falls? It's now one of the new products that we're working on. And it's here. It actually has a new symbol, right? So it's a bit hard for me to find sometimes. It's only 5 tons. So I'm going to head and calculate it right now with um, 10 tons of that. Um, and for that, we do need actually already quite a lot of these um factory so let's just check it out real quick there we have it and they produce only two minutes right so 0 0.25 of production per vineyard if we boost it by 50 percent we can push a bit more but still we would need a very high amount of vineyards for just five tons um yeah speaking about 10 tons it's even more so let's go ahead and add more yeah something like that we have now and uh, let's go ahead and actually start building them we have the farmer population and I would really like to just get me the first uh, grape farms then here on its way. Super expensive they are. 10,000 for each farm at this point. But we have the money, of course, to make up for it. And you know what? Let's actually just get the surplus out there immediately. A bit more timber we need to build me. Actually, let's build them all. And then we, we, we just have room then to, to uh, improve on them, right? To get their efficiency up. In that case, that's one, right, that we have over here. We can get another one up here. So let's just see how much production we have now baseline here. That's 10. How very coincidentally <laughs> that we have now the exact number that we need. Um, and with that, we can actually start the trade route here. We have Ponos. Uh, Ponos. Yeah, let's get rid of them. And we start a new trade route that is between Kareth and Crown Falls now. And of course, it's grain. There is uh, grapes. There is also something else that we might actually get, and that would be then perhaps the uh, the copper. We have two copper deposits on this island. However, they require worker workforce that we don't really have. Let's just see how much copper we would really need for these guys. 25. It's possible. Let's go ahead and build me some two copper mines there as well. One here and another one here. And this one needs a road connection all the way to that area there. Let's build them. And number two as well down here. And with that, actually, let's adjust the trade rod there. And we have the six slots, right? And here we're going to say copper. It's not going to be a big volume or anything like that. So one slot will be fine for this. Um, and with that, let's move this to the Trelawney group. This one here is New World Trelawney. And this one here, Coffee Beans, that is New World only that we have working still. Very good. That's a new product coming in. We just need to find once again room. And yeah, we have plenty of room here in the clean industry area, as we would call it, right? And in that case, we have the soap that's still way too much of it. And I think last time I checked, it wasn't that much space requirements on it. We could actually squeeze it in here or here. This one's not electrified though, right? No, this one's not. This is. And we still will have the double track here, which is fine, honestly. So let's have our four here, right? Because they're producing actually two per minute so that would be already eight per minute that is with the electricity 16 per minute and with some items we could bump these here up to 20 to 25 per minute easily right so that should be enough for a very long time we might also have room here but i would probably still like to go ahead with some more soap boosting yeah we don't need that yeah that's it actually let's go ahead and build the first two getting electrified already they will already produce now um, four each, so that's eight each, so that's already plenty, right? That's already the whole production here. Uh, Glass-wise, we're getting into equal territory now, which is not great. There was also the sand problem, of course. So this is something we're facing down here. Um, we're already boosting them at 50%, so I will probably need to get the sand in with the Docklands. 
or we are going to make a new a new beach area and um, we have the sand here right let's build more that should be enough let's also build that warehouse here with that we have a combined production for sand now of 49 so a nice surplus there again And there's the sand delivery then. Yeah, we're using three. That's perfectly fine. And getting the fertilizers back to Asterix. And look at that. Asterix is full on fertilizers? It is. What? <laughs> That's a surprise to me, honestly. All right. No big deal. That's a very nice deal, honestly, because we can boost even more grain plantations. At the same time, also, Captain Tobias is coming in finally, and he's going to make a massive trade for us. Alright, that's that. And we should already have unlocked it now. The brass, there it is. So for the next trade, instead of the cement, we're going to import the brass. And yeah, we will need to tackle the product that we use for that. So also Brad here, by the way, has started now, right? Getting the schnapps in. That's going to be great for my farmers and workers and also for Manola to have the Hacienda upgraded there. We're getting in a lot of grain. We might actually get rid of this one here soon now because we will be able to boost even more grain plantations now with the silo. So let's actually do this. I'm waiting for a few bricks because it's actually costing me quite a lot of bricks. So that's doubling the output for each one of these grain farms, which is just massive, right? All right, right in this new district that we have over here, um, I would like to add now a completely new building, and that is the library. In that case, we want to go ahead now and upgrade these artisans. Theoretically, we could do it. We just lack the university need um, for this whole row. Now, the university itself, we have a bunch of times already um, on in this game, on this, on this, in this city, and the library is much bigger but and much more expensive but it has a huge range so building one here for example would already solve the problem going yeah to this area here right so we need to make room here deleting some of those workers yes i'm going ahead and i'm just going to delete them because we can actually upgrade a bunch of them again over here as we still have way too many farmers where's actually all my farmers there they are right there's more of them there's a bunch of them way too many farmers i'd actually just go ahead and do it like that Oof, and there's a few more right so that we we solve that problem step by step and here let's get rid of hmm, let's get rid of these buildings there of this strange row and of this one that should be ample of space just along the oh it's not <laughs> it's that big right let's also get rid of these here mm -hmm. and then of this row that's the price of progress. We can actually make this one again complete. And in the center, we're going to place it right with a bit of a of a, of an, of a garden area, something like that, around it. Uh, let's just make sure that we place it kind of like into the center of this whole mess. And where's the entrance? This is not the entrance. This is the entrance. Build it here. Let's have a double road here. So that it's actually in the center, right? And then we can beautify this one, for example, with some... Um, and close greenery again. Might actually make another entrance over here in the back of it. People can enter there too. And also we extend the reach, of course, for this jolly good building. And also here in the front we need a bigger entrance. It's a beautiful one, right? I like it a lot. It's very detailed. It's a modded building. Which just makes it even more impressive, I think, when you look at all the details that you have in here. This, of course, is doing a couple of things to my city there right away. It's fulfilling now almost all the artisans with the university, which leads to more artisans coming in, and which also leads to a lot of artisans that we're able now to upgrade. Uh, this is looking strange. Did I do this? <laughs> no. Mm, then let's just see. Might actually have some fountains here on the corners. Right. And then probably also just some grass or something where people can sit and enjoy the day. Right here. Also adding a bit of a bit of attractiveness there again. And here in the front line. Probably then some very important persons that you can add to this area. 
the patrons of the city. And... I'm the center for it. And with that, we have a new landmark building right here in the center. Or actually, it's going to be the center at some point because, of course, we still expand. And yeah, it's providing a lot of services. And with that, holy cooly, we can actually go ahead and upgrade all of these guys here. Once again, massive expansion to the great city of Crown Falls. Also these guys here. Right. And here we actually have the plague roaming right now, so I cannot upgrade at the moment. Which is fine for me at the moment. Now, I still also would like to work on my brass import. Now, brass is something that's actually not quite valuable and you don't need it in high volume. So it's perfect import good for the Docklands. Right now, we only consume around 11 tons per minute, which just leads to 220 tons. Let's make 250 tons with a bit of a buffer um, that we need to import. That's really not that much. 250 tons. I'm going to immediately almost double this, perhaps. Now, nah, let's say 400 tons, because we have, of course, a bit of a production ahead of us. And this is only 756 sausages that we actually need to import with that. We have a surplus here right now of 39, so that's almost 40. That's almost, yeah, that's a bit more than 800 in surplus. So plenty of headroom here um, that we can still use, right? And in that case, we have the brass problem solved, actually right in nine minutes tobias is coming in again do we have brass no we don't have it in stock right now um but after this we can actually get rid of all our brass smelters for good i mean right and we also don't face the penalty of this anymore because they have a pretty severe attractiveness penalty it's also a dirty industry so that is something we can actually get rid of very good overall and how's it looking by the way in my in asterix because here we have a bit of bricks again and I would like to use more silos of course. We want to pump out that grain as much as possible. Right, that's already a lot and we definitely will also need to upgrade these roads here. Right. Pushing now 36, this is going to get a bit higher once the, the silos kick in. Right, and with together with Crown Falls, we still have a, a bit of a deficit that we're countering with the Docklands. But we're trying to make this smaller, because with that, we don't need to export that many goods for grain anymore. Uh, 13 influence we have. Let's continue with another two cargo ships. Yep, we have only one more in reserve. Another thing I would like to do is this area here. We have the marketplace and the pub. Both of them we don't need anymore because we also have marketplace and pub for these guys here and marketplace and pub for these guys here. And with that, we have a bit of a room that I would like to use for a, for a hospital. Okay, newspaper edition um, doesn't look very good. As, yeah, we do get some negative happiness there. And we definitely need to get rid of this. How do we do this? By probably, probably reducing my defenses. Alright, let's get rid of those two flamethrowers there. Honestly, we can do this. And also of these two here. I think something like that is called triage. <laughs> we need to, we need to, yeah, decide between the worst decisions possible. Um, can we do it this way? And, oh, we lack one influence to at least get rid of this penalty there. One influence. We could reduce the defense of Crown Falls a bit more. I could get rid of one of these islands in the back here. This would also give me back influence. Risky. Let's get rid of this one in Asterix, right? And with that, we have everything in to at least get us a bit of a propaganda here so that's the 10 the 10 and this one we also get rid of for sure we're not going with any happiness boosts anymore and we're also not going with money boosts we don't need money boosts anymore in that case that problem has been solved a long time ago at least until we reach skyscrapers of course then we will need all the money in the world now one thing we have now is once again all the resources in right so i can go ahead and upgrade people again do we still have engineers here yes this is right this one's pumping out the electricity. Oil is fine. So we can push more investors and with that, more influence again. Beautiful. These guys here, what's going on with you? You don't have electricity. How is this possible? 
Ah, all right. It's right here in this corner, in this dead zone there. Hmm. I guess it wouldn't hurt if I move this one one step further to solve the problem. Or we actually have this one here. Ha! Solve the problem. Changes. And with that, it has electricity. How very nice. Um, these guys here, they will also be happy now to upgrade, honestly. So we just need to wait here a bit. Uh, with that, we have 34 influence already available again. Here we still have some very strange blocks. Go ahead and do this. And then, of course, we got 1,000, 1,800 workers. So let's also go ahead and upgrade a bunch of them. Build that variety theater. These guys here are ready to be upgraded soon. Here, I definitely want to have more artisans now popping up, right? So we are slowly expanding here along the main roads as well. And these guys yeah, down here, they the lack theaters. the market. This is just a temporary problem, so I'm going to push a smaller market here. And of course, we should actually also upgrade these roads. It's just embarrassing at some point. Alright, ship under attack is probably, yep, another ironclad that enters the region. Just to get crashed immediately again. Uh, we also have a bunch of explosions. That I should probably solve. Yeah, there it is. The run distilleries, the fire is gone again, right? So this was a bit of a problem. And... I mean, we have enough fire stations here. There's no need to add more. And my New World fleet, by the way, can also move a bit further up again. Let's also go ahead and use, once again, some propaganda here, some items um, that increases the chance for, or that actually increases the happiness for this block here, right? And this block here should be fully used already. Yep, so we only have this one here, and let's use another one. Definitely want to push that average happiness a bit. Also, we have leveled up two goods. That's the sausage and the bread. We're using both of them for very important goods, right? That's the schnapps more coming in. Uh-huh. Oh, it was exported immediately. That's okay. Let's actually go ahead and make 1,700. And I have a bit of a buffer there to work with. And the brass is now in, in higher volumes. That means we can also finally get rid of this very nasty production and save me a lot of happiness and boosts me up right away to the lightful metropolis. There you go. With that, theoretically, we also don't need the copper and zinc production anymore, right? This is a thing of the past. So we could just delete them right now. And you know what? Let's actually do this. Especially here, closer to the city, because there I don't usually like to have these right around. Um, there is this one, this one, and this one. Also saves me workforce. Just beautiful. Another mass upgrade here in the northern part of the city. Some of them don't want to, even though they have everything, so it's just a matter of time, really. As there was just this huge plague here, right? We should also go ahead and upgrade more again to artisans because we're upgrading lots of them. These guys here we can now upgrade. Oh, there's lots of workers still that I don't want to have here. Down to 700 farmers and down to 300 workers. Yep, that's that. So soon, we'll need to build a new district, right? If we push... We still have space available for city development. That's that. I'm just waiting for these guys here. Okay, in the meantime, also got ourselves some nice new items here. Flat uh, happiness boost with Elliot. We also have the Spectacle Factory boost, a super useful item, Gorhut Fuchs. Um, and he is for the Spectacle Factory productivity by 50% increased. Instead of brass, it uses wood. And we get pocket watches in addition um, for every third product that is being produced. Did cost me close to a million, but that's okay. We have the money. The engineer residences and investor and uh, residences get boosted by um, pocket watches and jewelry if they have the bank. And then also here, Henry Tanky. And this one actually has productivity boost, workforce reduction, and negative attractiveness reduction um, for the weapon factories and the steelworks alike. Another very useful item. 
let's get this actually back home what i really really hate is if there's a battle somewhere and i'm actually focusing on items <laughs> and that's over here right now in the new world where yeah for best was taken again but we haven't had any on anything on the for best yet right so this is fine Let's try to take down this ship here too. Then Jihad has quite the losses. And you know what? Let's take over this island here too. She's getting on my nerves and she really doesn't deserve to have any peaceful moment there as well. If she doesn't give that to us. Um, back in Crown Falls, what we have now here as well is the wine finally coming in. Just as the coffee's running out again. Hooray. And can we upgrade people? We got a thousand. Yes, there it is. Those, those artisans are going to be pushed. It's important that it's all happening here. Because here we're soon going to have another power plant. And these guys here probably 600. And then here a bunch more. Right, getting into this new district over there with even more very good this one is looking of course with all the upgrades to engineers we are having a massive influx of coffee consumption so i will need to tackle this one as well by boosting my coffee production we have the coffee roasters i'm already boosting them i think yep with some very useful items by the way are we full on chocolate with this let's check my chocolate production we're producing nine tons of chocolate with that and we do have a total demand of what? 11 tons. We actually have almost all the chocolate in that we need. That's a nice happiness booster. So what I'm going to do is also, I'm actually going to not create my own special trade route, but instead these four ships here delivering the coffee. Now nah, let's keep it specialized. I mean, what gives? And let's have this ship here delivering the chocolate. As the volume for that, of course, is going to increase over time because we are, of course, making our own production for that at some point as well. Passive production is only good in the beginning. It's not going to be great anymore down the road. Right, now let's get this one here also to my trade routes. So that's that. With that, nice boost overall. Let's check our coffee consumption in general. We have a surplus of 32 right now and the total demand is really high, probably 40 at this point. Yeah. So that's that. We cannot boost coffee roasters with electricity, unfortunately. So items will have to do. That's the only thing we can do. And also, of course, building more of them. Let's really build a lot of them. As we have the resources and they only cost me Honoleros. Uh, by the way, yeah, the schnapps, of course, is in. Let's go ahead and upgrade the first Hacienda Honoleros to Breros. Shall we do this? It's quite expensive, that one. And with the mod, that actually makes the whole thing harder because you can't get your Brero Haciendas like in the vanilla game anymore. Like in an instant, you actually need to upgrade the Honoleros. And with that, we get this beautiful, beautiful buildings here. And you know what? Let's also upgrade that main road here so that it looks a bit better with the upgrade we should also have extended our reach oh yep have we no doesn't look like it we have yet so there's going to be another boost at some point pretty sure of that and we're also looking at very comfortable purpose production for the hot sauce as well this is growing this is growing why do we have some negative happiness here these guys, oh, they need quite a bit. They need the schools. They want a boxing arena, of course. Is it counting the same thing? Yep, all of these want all of this. Let's focus though quickly on that conquest. There's no defense at all on this beautiful island. Let's just push it all in. There you go. And take it over. Thing is, of course, it does cost me influence again. And every bit of that at the moment is super valuable for us. And then I'm just going to send them back here and wait on this reconquest. These we have again, securing our trade routes. 
should be all fine right now. She's really not that strong right now. She has lots of defenses and of course she's got lots of ships, but she is keeping them in the old world for now. Monitoring this one is really difficult though, right? I can't monitor this all the time. It's too much of min-maxing. And in that case, if she sends them to the new world at some point, yeah, then we'll be in for a nice surprise. Until then, let's just focus on the beautiful things of Anno. <laughs> and that is the building. As we have now lots of engineers here, we can also get rid of this marketplace and the pub. And I think also the school, right? Yeah, those people don't need schools anymore. We can get rid of this one. No props. The variety theater here is working. These guys have it too. I want to do, go ahead with the school in the new world and the boxing arena. So this is something those guys here need. Yeah, with some bricks finally in again, let's actually build me the first school right here. So once again, this is a mod, right? And uh, this makes the game a bit harder because you need additional service buildings for all of your tiers. And with that, we have the school need fulfilled for these guys. The range is, is okay, I guess. One school should suffice for these people. And then another school here for my, uh, for my hacienda. So let's also go ahead and have this one here in the center right now. But I would like to have a smaller park than back here at some point that we work on. But with this, we have some happiness again and thus also a lower ride chance. The other thing is, of course, we still... Can we still boost our coffee beans there somehow? Hmm, I don't have that much here anymore. Uh, we are using not that yet. So let's actually boost them up by 50%. We are producing right now 47 tons. And in Manola, we do need around 58 tons. <laughs> so we don't need a bit more uh, for the coffee. What can we do about this? Probably building a few more coffee plantations over here. We still have room for one more boost um, that I would like to do. So we have to ship it Isabel. So perhaps we can find something here that boosts crop farms. Now, jackpot, I'd say we actually got Ferrasa two times here with the productivity boost. We also got some nice uh, pirate treasures here for the museum and the zoo. And also, this is really nice. Master Confectioner, the fried plantain. They actually also produce chocolate passively, um, which could help me out in my passive um, production for everything. Let's actually get these items over here. Um, and I might also be thinking about boosting, boosting something here again in the trade route, because this is full, right? There's not that much to do anymore. Um, we might want to have a second ship on this trade route. That's something. Let's go ahead and do this right away. That's just within the in the new world. By the way, here we lost the trade for the bricks. That's noted. Get us a new cargo ship on this. So that we have a better flow of, of traffic here. Of the coffee beans. Yeah, we might also need more bricks in... Tomasi. By the way, in Tomasi, we have the clay deposits. Do we have... We have no workforce shared at the moment because that would be one of my next targets. The problem with that is really influence. It's massive, right? It's 30 influence that it costs me in the new world. So if I want to connect them, that's 60 influence just for this. Ah, I need to wait on that a bit more, unfortunately. I don't have the best items. Tomas is probably my best bet because it got six clay deposits. What we do in the meantime is we're going to take one of my Trelawney trade rods that goes to the new world. Like, yeah, the chocolate actually would be nice. It's Oh, it has 600 on it already. The schnapps one. Yeah, ideal because we have some room here. Let's actually take some 200 tons of bricks and get this to Manola, right? That should be it. With that, we're getting a nice exchange here between the two. Back to Crown Falls, because we have something very important here to do. And that is building another trade union, finally. It's this one here that we have. It does cost me the 15 influence, but it's an area where it's going to be absolutely worth it. And we are also going to move my fur coats over here, right? So they're getting um, their, their boost from it, because this is still within... Oh, it's close. Still within range. There you go. Still within range. Unfortunately, no electrification, but that's okay. Didn't have that before as well, right? It had electricity before. This makes it a bit more complicated. Ah, but we can squeeze them in here nicely. All four of them, hopefully. 
pull four of them. Perfect. Because that's already plentiful, right? And with this new trade union here, we get the spectacles and we get the fur coats. And let's actually use both of them right away for what we have in store for them. That is Gerhard Fuchs. So the spectacle boost by 50% and also produces pocket watches in addition. And then we have Faraz Al Zarami to boost all of them here. And then I'm also going to have... Oh, wait a second, let's not use for us because we got Henry Tanky, right? That's actually a great one because it reduces also the negative penalty that we get out of the steelworks. We have taken a new iron new world. That was because the white flag was running out. There's still one more thing I wanted to get here. Oh, we still have it equipped. We still have it equipped. Costume designer. There it is. Get the costume designer in. So they continue to use wool instead of cotton, right? And this actually opens up now a new space here that we have that I would like to use then for my bicycle factory and sewing machine factories. They're both within range of this trade union. Not only get the boost by 50%, but they also produce advanced weapons and steam motors in addition. And with that, for the first time, we're getting advanced weapons in. That's crazy without actually having any factories of this. And it's, <laughs> this is cheating. This is downright cheating, unfortunately. Um, because it produces 26 tons of advanced weapons, which is way too much. But that's what the item does. And of course, there was a lot of work to, to get to this point, right? Because we have now these fully boosted sewing machine factories and bicycle factories with a very high ratio. And they're also producing advanced weapons. That's just beautiful. It brings tears to my eyes, hopefully to yours too. And with that being a bit of cheating and that growing city, we continue onwards in the next episode with a powerful economic boost. Stay tuned.